Hey everybody, today we're going to be making a black light poster. I'll go through all the steps that I do in order to create one from sketching to inking and then uh, using some fluorescent paint to make it glow. So let's get into it. Well, the first thing that I'm going to want to do is make a rough sketch of uh, the final image that I want to create. And I know I'm going to want something symmetrical, like a dragon head or something, so I'm going to kind of start off with uh, just a symmetrical design like this and we can imagine a lot of flames or we're going to want like a lot of um, smaller areas you know and kind of play with um, the black because basically the way that a black light image works is you're going to have the black image acting as a silhouette and then the fluorescent paint kind of glows it's it's really difficult to model with um, fluorescent paint in terms of light and dark, but I'll show you a little bit about how we can use some colors like fluorescent yellow and fluorescent pink to kind of get some ideas of um, light and dark as well. But the main thing we're going to be want to be doing with this first initial sketch and drawing is we're creating a sketch that we're later going to ink. So the first thing, the first step is going to be sketching it, then we're going to be putting the fluorescent paint on, and then we're going to ink the top layer of that and make it black and make the lines really nice and crisp. One good thing about the fluorescent paint is it's going to go through and so you're going to be able to see these lines through the fluorescent paint itself. So that's what we're going to do and uh, I'm just going to jump into this sketch first and pop back when we're done. So I know I want to really kind of play up the line quality a lot in this so I'm just making this basic idea of this kind of dragon like demon creature. And when I come back with on black on top of it, I want to just do a lot of thin and uh, thick and thin lines with a lot of line variation up in here. But I'm just getting the basic idea down in this sketch to begin with. This is my rig I got set up. I just taped this up on top and this is like a LED uh, black light with, you know, different modes and stuff like that. But basically the, uh, the violet is a black light as you can see here. And um, yeah, I just put it on top of my easel and I can keep the lights on while I'm working too and still get the basic effect. But of course, you know, less light you have, the more it glows. So here are my different fluorescent paints I've got. I've got uh, pink. This is actually green, but it looks really yellow under the black light. This fluorescent orange and then our fluorescent yellow. I'm going to be ma mainly focusing on these two uh, colors here. And let's just plop some of that down. And when we start off here, we're going to want to focus kind of on big gradients. I'm going to cheat a little bit because I airbrush a lot and I'll uh, airbrush in some of these gradients as well. But you can see that I've got my sketch here. If you get up close, hopefully you can see that. I've got my sketch um, up on the easel right there. So I've got a basic outline of the big broad, let's move this up a little bit, of the big broad um, value changes that I want to do, right? So I'm just going to start in and do some basic, follow these lines a little bit. And I'm just kind of following that initial gesture in the initial form that I had with the image. Let's do it symmetrical on both sides. And one nice thing about using like fire or kind of like um, this really liney type of drawing is that it doesn't need to be completely symmetrical because, you know, fire isn't you know, necessarily completely symmetrical either. And you can also see not you don't really need much of this paint to go a long way. Now we're going to take some of this yellow here and you can see we can lighten up some areas a little bit and get a little bit of a gradient there. So we're going to be working into some of these areas just lightly with the yellow to get a little bit of that glowing effect. More like that, it's fire. And with acrylics, this is best done uh, wet. You know, you want to work fast and keep it wet. Cool. And now I've got a little bit of this color left on my brush. I'm just going to use that up. We know that this nose area is going to be the brightest, so I'm going to use the yellow for that too.
One thing that's really odd is that white will not work. White will actually make it darker because this is white, right? This is the white of the paper and that's a dark purple. So when you want to lighten colors when you're working with, you know, fluorescent paint and a black light, you're going to have to use like a yellow in order to actually bring that color up. I'll bring these up a little bit more too. And I'm just going to round the edges on this a little bit. Make it kind of feel like there's a bit of shadow there. And I'm just going to continue for the rest of the painting in the same way. So I've noticed you can you can get a little bit darker. I just use a little bit of black with the pink and I mixed up this kind of dirty pink color and I've been using that for some shadow like things as well. And you can see you can you can go a little bit darker. The thing is you just can't go lighter. And once you get dark down, you're not going to really go light again. So I'm just kind of making these flame like things feel like they have a little bit more form just by darkening up the uh, fluorescent color with a bit of black. So now we've got our basic gradients um, in our drawing and I'm going to use a little bit sharper brush here, add a little bit more water to my black to water it down a little bit and we're just going to start cutting into our drawing and making these lines a little bit more distinct as we go. And the part of this part of the drawing is mainly based on these thin versus thick lines. So we want a lot of line variation going into these lines themselves. So we're just outlining and strengthening these lines. And we can do a lot of shading in uh, just with these simple movements as well. And one thing um, that people often forget in blacklight paintings or blacklight poster creation is the importance of black because this black is really going to make the fluorescence pop even more. And the more little hatches we can get in there too, the more it's going to vibrate. Yeah. So I'll continue on just adding more of these little marks along the way as we go. Thin thick and uh, giving the drawing a little bit more definition and form with that. And here you can see the final result of this kind of dragon demon thing and uh, turn on the black light. And those are the steps to make a black light painting. Start off with a sketch, go in with some gradients with fluorescent pink and yellow and then draw over the top of those with some black to make everything pop. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you like these types of videos, be sure to like and subscribe. Help me grow the channel. Thanks a lot.